Hey guys, uh, KZ Masterpiece here. Uh, getting ready to do a, a real Tom Cook video before I go into work. So we will try to make this as quick as I can. I'm gonna end, I'm gonna do a uh, seafood pizza today, and it's gonna have uh, it's gonna be like a two layer two layer crust pizza because uh, one of the uh, ingredients is gonna be a or be ricotta cheese. So I think that's about the only way I can do that is to melt it and add like a second layer of pizza crust. I'm just using the uh, Mission uh, Carb Balance tortilla shells. Put these down in the oil, fry them around a little bit, let them soak up, and then flip them over. those going. I'll go ahead and uh, put those over here on my cooler side so they don't cook too fast. Go ahead and throw our toppings down. I've got uh, the small scallops, small shrimp, onions, and tomato, or onions and mushroom. So we'll go ahead and just uh, throw these down. Put them all together. Shoot some oil in them. Turn our heat up a little bit. Start them out, both of them on low. Stir those up. And since I am uh, adding the ricotta cheese and uh, like pizza and the whole Italian thing, I am going to add uh, some Italian seasoning to it, Mary and Kay. And you want to start these rather early with everything because the uh, flakes are dry. And you want them to cook up. Actually, this is the first time I've used it, I guess, to get the seal on it. We'll go ahead and sprinkle some Italian seasoning down in there. I think that's probably enough. With the juices, moisturize the herbs. over here on high, probably like a lower high. And then of course if you're going to be doing seafood, then you have to add some seafood seasoning. And I'm using the Red Lobster blend. I really do like it. Old Bay is pretty good too. I've actually got this burner on high now just to try to get some of this uh, uh, the shrimp and scallops to cook the water out so it's a little bit drier. Go ahead and check, uh, check our tortillas here. That one's good to go. This one's good to go. So this one's smaller. I'll go ahead and use that for the toppings. So we'll just flip them around here. Get the ricotta cheese going. Whew, 
I might just go ahead and turn the heat off on this one for a little bit. Might look like a little bit too much ricotta cheese. I don't know. I really do love this stuff, so it's not too much for me. Just try to get it spread evenly here. I'll use the spatula, hold that thing in place. I think that's a trick I got washing the dogs. Let the plates clean. The plate would go slide on the place, and they just put their paw on it. Works for me. We got a good even spread on that. I'm gonna get the ricotta cheese away from the heat. Get our mix here. I'm finally starting to get the water out of it. It's looking pretty good. Go ahead and turn that on low. I'm still at this point I'm still using uh, spaghetti sauce instead of uh, pizza sauce it still tastes great just put that down spread it and the ricotta cheese is already mixing inside of the spaghetti sauce it's looking pretty good So we got our base down, that one's going, we'll go ahead and put some in our uh, little mix right here. Nope. Just pop that, I got something solid stuck in there. And it still doesn't want to go, that usually works, you just got to hit it harder I guess. It again, nah, it's still not working. All right, we'll just go ahead and take the lid off, dump some spaghetti sauce in there. Spaghetti sauce in there, our shrimp, our scallops, uh, onions, and mushroom. It's uh, almost just like a spaghetti sauce. I think that'll taste pretty good. So check our shells. Top of that one. And then we'll put our cheese down. Mixed up one final time. Just throw them on. It looks like this will probably be like one of the quickest meals I've made.
There's our seafood pizza. Got toppings all spread out. Got some scallops on the side. Get the onions off. And throw it on. Alright, so we get our toppings. There's a the scallop missing. We'll throw some more cheese down. It probably work pretty good with some uh, uh, fresh Parmesan grated into it. But like I said, I'm just doing a quick video before I go to work. I don't have time. I'm not sure. I probably only got like 10, 15 minutes left before I got to jump in the shower and get ready. And now it's time to throw. Well, let's clean. Let's clean this up first. Turn the heat back up. Put this off over to the side. Oh, that's the wrong one. Need the water. And that's just so we don't get any of that, uh, the seasoning residue to build up on the bottom of our pizza. And I did, this is a 22 inch uh, Adventure Ready. Comes in like four or five pieces. So you can pack it up, take it camping, take it out to the park. I did a park video. Um, Saturday, I did purchase the uh, the Mac Daddy Blackstone, the 36 inch with the two air fryers. Can't wait to get that going. Okay, so we get that cleaned up. That back over here, side, and then we're going to steam it up. Not that cute. plates around so there's a dirty plate there's a clean plate and we are 13 minutes into the video steamer one more time I'm using all high heat for this right now It's almost ready to cut up. I do have my pizza slicer out here ready to go. All right, we'll turn the heat off. Wrong way. And there it is. We'll just go ahead and uh, slice it up. And plate it. It's almost kind of like a seafood lasagna pizza with a powdered cheese, and it looks really good. Cut from both directions, that'll keep the toppings from sliding too much. A little pizza pie. There you go. Can't wait to bite in that ricotta cheese. I love ricotta cheese. I can't remember the last time I had it. I can tell you the next time I'm gonna have it. It's here in about five minutes. After this cools down for a little bit. Maybe even after I get my shower done. All right, there you go. Uh, double layer crust, uh, seafood pizza, shrimp, scallops, onions, uh, mushroom, Italian seasoning, seafood seasoning, 
and ricotta cheese. Like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, hit me up in the comments, tell me what you think. Until next time.